Jason's fourth grade dream was to have Eric Thomas's job. But my childhood dream was for him to be mine. And that dream came full circle too. And a good man remembered in a solemn service, his wife there saying so many things about the man that she loved. We begin tonight with the services for Jason Myers. Good evening. I'm Derek Dellinger and tonight for Robin. Thanks for, so much for watching Queen City News after the game. Myers was one of two people killed when a helicopter for WBTV crashed along the shoulder of Interstate 77 earlier this week. Today, he was remembered for so much by so many. Queen City News reporter Shakira Speaks has a look at the service. Jason Myers was not only a son, father, husband, and meteorologist. He was also the tooth fairy, the tickle monster, and the dessert of his family. And today, the people closest to him listed more descriptions and told more stories to really show the kind of person Myers was. As black curses pulled into Carmel Baptist Church, friends, family, and longtime viewers prepared to send their loved one, Jason Myers, home. Some traveled as far as Kentucky and Virginia to pay their respects. It's been nearly a week since Charlotte lost a beloved meteorologist, but nothing compares to the lifetime of grieving Myers' immediate family will endure. Jason, how can we thank God enough for you in return for all the joy that we feel before God because of you? I love you, Jason. His four children each prepared a statement praising their father for how great he was to them individually. As you come home from work, I would stand up in the window of our apartment Wait until he pulled in the driveway to run downstairs for him to scoop me up and hold me. Knowing my dad, Jason, instead of shedding tears, let's celebrate his life. Never taking another moment or person for granted. I love you, Dad, and you will always be in my heart. He knew, he knew how important it is to not do life alone, but rather surround, but rather surrounded with people that you love. He would leave notes from the Tooth Fairy folded into hearts and squares and other shapes. And when I would write notes to them, asking them questions about their lives, he would write back. And it was a long time before I realized that my dad was my fairy pen pal. His wife Jillian spoke of their lifelong relationship together and how they made sure to keep love in their marriage. His surprise for me for our 15th wedding anniversary was to reenact that Duke Gardens proposal with the same speech with our children as witnesses, and he presented me with a new ring. Hundreds of people came from out of state for Myers' viewing and funeral. After this morning's service, the family held a private gravesite burial.